Hello and welcome to tonight's edition of Devil's Post Game Talk. My name is Patrick Valentine here with the recap of tonight's game. Marty isn't going to have a happy 20th anniversary on Monday for when he got his first start against the Bruins. Yet, not many NHL goalies are having good games against the Penguins recently. The Penguins, who have recently came off an 8-4 loss to the Senators, just now found the talent to get into their game. I had a good feeling the Devils were going to struggle against the Penguins tonight. Even though this was the final meeting with the Devils winning three of the games and the Penguins winning two, and currently the Penguins hold the best penalty kill in the league, but the Devils also have one of the best penalty kills in the league as well. The Penguins, as you could tell, had fire going into this game since they had Malkinen, who is the leader in points in the NHL, and Sidney Crosby, who recently came back from an injury and has been putting on points on the board ever since. It's just that we had too many mistakes tonight, even though we outshot them by eight shots. It just still wasn't enough to win this game. Here are some of the highlights from the game. In the first period, the Penguins light the lamp early with a minute and four seconds into the period. Starts with Brodora trying to get rid of the puck and the trapezoid. Then Malkin comes out of nowhere, intercepts the puck, and then passes it to Kunitz, making it one nothing. Then five minutes and ten seconds into the period, the same thing happens to Flurry when he tries to clear the puck and passes it to Crosby, and Crosby passes it to Lovejoy, but Parisi intercepts the puck and scores an empty net, making it one all. The Devils try to clear the puck with less than a minute to go in the first, with Larson clearing the puck, then Koch intercepts the puck and passes it to Stahl and scores, making it 2-1 to one Penguins. Then we enter the second period. 15 minutes and 34 seconds into the second period, Crosby passes it to Adams, then Adams shoots and blocked by Brodeur, and Dupris comes in and scores on the rebound, making it 3-1. Then we go into the third period. Three minutes and 37 seconds into the third, and Zajac passes it to Kolbachuk, who is waiting on the other side of the crease, making it 3-2. And less than two minutes after that, Dupris passes it to Michalik, then passes it to Crosby, and Crosby gets one pass per door, making it 4-2. And then less than two minutes left to go in the game, Devils pull Marty, then Malkin scores an empty netter, closing the door for the Devils of catching up, making it 5-2 Penguins, final score. This game was very even, even it could have gone both ways. It just happens that the Penguins made less mistakes than the Devils made. The Penguins now clinch a playoff spot and are fourth in the conference. The Devils stay in sixth place in the conference. The Devils will play the Blackhawks at 7 p.m. on Tuesday. Thank you for tuning in to tonight's game. Thank you and have a good night.